Okay, we're back here on the uh, internet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have Left. questions like from people have written in <laughs> while we were on. Apparently, we're live. Uh, Chicago Fingers. Ooh, sounds like a mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ask this is for you, Paul. Not one of my friends. How do you view the media's coverage of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan? Uh, pretty weak. I think especially in the earlier years of the war when I was there, um, they were embedded, which, which they thought was going to give them a really unique perspective. And what it did was make them, I would argue, pretty impartial. It's hard for them to be objective when I'm covering their ass. Um, and I think as the security situation has deteriorated, it's been harder. So they were not impartial, you're saying? No, I, I, yeah, sorry, that, whatever. Um, <laughs> thanks. I'm, new, I'm new at this. Give me a break. No, no, no. I'm just um, trying to clarify. Yeah, yeah, so you're, you. no, you're, no. you're yeah, saying I think, that? I think you know. I think they've gotten better since. Um, and to be honest with you, what I think they're doing now with my world with veterans and the veterans' issues is they're kind of playing a makeup call. They know they screwed up the war in the run-up to the war, and now they're trying to get the veterans' piece right. Uh, and I've heard that from folks in the press, and I think. They're viewing it as a chance to play catch up. But they are pretty brave to go over there. They are. And, and, and to uh, be honest with you, there are some good reporters. There's been some. They really good, are. There are some very good reporters, and there's been some very good coverage. And I could but it's been a very narrow perspective. From my point of view, the good ones are the ones who don't buy that we're fighting Al Qaeda in Iraq. That, I said this every week. It just bugs the shit out of me. Right. Al, somehow they morphed Al Qaeda who is the real enemy, but they're in Pakistan, to now everybody we're fighting in Iraq, and you said a lot of time it's 16-year-old kids. Yeah. Now they're all Al-Qaeda. But, 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 media, but, it's the media's job to point that well, out. And, and, yeah, but and they have to show Al-Qaeda in Iraq, Bill. I mean, the, the, it, well, there wasn't before we know, invaded. exactly, but there is and now. Even and even as, as recently as six months ago, the military said they accounted 2%, 2% of who we're fighting over there. The, 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 it's Al-Qaeda and other extremists. That is ridiculous, <laughs> okay? You know, other extremists is 16-year-old There's, no, there's kids. no shortage of people that hate us at this point. Right. And we need to recognize well, that. If, Sun Tzu, know that right. enemy. And if the they president march... does not understand who we're fighting. Our soldiers understand right. who we're fighting, but most of America doesn't even understand who we're but fighting. And that's why our response has been so limited. But to be fair to the media, it's an incredibly difficult country to understand. I mean, it, when you, when you, I mean, uh, you look at the history, you look at the culture of it. it is, That's it, an excuse, it though. Is, that well, it's tough it, to understand. Well, Physics is hard to understand, but they manage to cover that. It, right. I mean, and it is their job. Come on. I yes, mean, it is, but it is. It, 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 there's a. There are not only different languages. There are different religions. There are different religions within religions. There are different militias within militias. It is at this point right. one of the most complicated, complex, dynamic situations. Which is maybe why Bush yeah. should have studied it before oh, he invaded Bill. it. Oh, absolutely, Bill. I'm just. And I'm which not. is why. And which is why right. our being there is not going to solve it. I said no, but it, it's so but I, leaving I, is not going to solve it either. I mean, that, that's, that's kind of a false choice, too. If we pull out tomorrow, flowers aren't going to grow. I agree. Everybody's not going to get a puppy. I mean, I mean it's a mess. And, and to be honest with you, if we stay, we're fucked. If we leave, we, we're fucked. We need to acknowledge right. that reality, that that's it's a total right. mess. Which and there is, is slightly no less fucked if we leave, I think. Okay. But again, that's, but a, all the that's an empirical judgment, Bill, yeah. at this point. I mean, we, I think if we all agree this was a huge mistake in the first place, now it becomes an empirical judgment right. how the fuck we, right. how, right. how we actually managed to make this not as awful as it might be. And that's, and that's I, a horrible thing to do. Americans right. don't like to I, hear that. But I was true. asking an honest question before, oh. during the show, about the progress we saw in Iraq yeah, this week. Yeah. And my question really was, one, is that progress so great that we should listen to McCain and say, hey, maybe we should at least stick it out another couple of years, because something could Grow or a and two of years and plus there's is not unsustainable. A, a couple of years, a couple of months, okay. And the American public's had it. They're out of extra right. extra time. And they can't keep the, moving the goalposts back every time we get inside the twenty. And that's what they keep doing. And that's why the American public is fed up. The, the, and there's the not there's not a logical connection necessarily between the progress and our being there. The fact is that progress right, could have happened earlier had we not been totally. there. Totally. I mean, we we are we are basically holding Maliki's hand. He's only going to be forced to really compromise when we say we're out. Right. Okay. Or I mean, not. Right. Or not. The problem is, no, 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 no. I mean, the real no, problem is there is out. no such thing as Iraq. Yeah. No one right. in the country actually wants Iraq to exist as we would like it to exist. Right. Nobody. So essentially, I think the only thing that's actually practically going to happen is you're going to have three different. Yeah, it's going to fracture. Some level. That's right. You may have to have some. Right. That's some right. people trying to keep Baghdad from exploding, but you're going to have a de facto partition and right. and. The, All right. And, and, Let me you know, ask one more question from the internet. Black Knight <laughs> asks, does the panel agree with MSNBC suspending David Schuster for his comments that Chelsea Clinton is, quote, pimping 
for Hillary, if you hadn't heard, he said, you know, by the way, if, if Chelsea Clinton is pimping for Hillary, then John McCain is pimping his mother. <laughs> Because his 96-year-old mother oh. gets trotted out at every one of his events to show, see, I'm not going to die soon. I've got a 96-year-old mother. That's how not dead I'm going to be by the end of my second term. It's true. It was a, it was a very poor choice of words. So what? It might, well. It's like everybody has to go away. You make a poor choice of words, and you have to go away. Jane Fonda, <laughs> you heard what she said? <laughs> now, they find... Uh, CBS, a million dollars. A million dollars for Janet Jackson's nipple. Think what they could get for Hillary Clinton's cunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the word they, Jane... Well, just, it was the visual that really... That's <laughs> the word Jane Fonda used. Yeah, we know, yeah. Right. So... I think, you know, if you have Pimp My Ride on MTV or, or wherever it is, uh, I mean, Pimp naturally has become generationally a different term. It's and it's unfortunately... True. Right. It's true. Uh, generationally, it's, it's like gay or... I mean, it, it right. It doesn't mean what we... The, the old right. generation well, thinks it yeah. meant. It's, and, it's, uh, well, fine. it doesn't... I mean, it's distasteful, but it's right. It's not as bad as, you know, it's not as bad as it once was. And Hillary threatened to pull out of the debates. Then when Obama said, oh, I might only have to do one, she says, no, it's okay, we'll do the debate anyway. By the way, have you seen John McCain's mom? She looks younger than he does. Really? Yeah. It's incredible. But you know what? Uh, this McCain age stuff, I mean, I don't want I don't want to, I, 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 really, I really think we could do better than, than making cracks about someone who is old, uh, but who is... In amazing shape for what he has to. Do you know what these people go That's through? That's true. It's absolutely true. I mean, I, I know right. the guy. I've, I've seen and him. And what they put him through. He's incredible. He's an incredible human being. And look, Bill, he, he was yes. he had every bone in his, in his body broken by yeah. tortures. And, and, uh, give the guy a pass what? on his age, okay? I mean, this is this is a man who. So well, call you, you him can't, a hero. You can't, you can't, Don't jump on it. If you, people call him a hero, and then you go back to, to John Kerry. Respect him for what he went through. He could have gone home. He did not have to have every bone in his it's body broken. I'm just saying, I don't, think age, I don't think the age thing is... No, the age thing is I think it will relevant. matter because... It will matter when he selects a vice president. Because that vice president is going to be scrutinized at a much higher level than the average vice presidential candidate. Because they're seriously going to be concerned about whether or not he'll make it through a term. And also, it's, there it's is, a viable there, question. There it's a legitimate question. But it's not a legitimate question that he isn't perfectly capable of being president. Agreed. And, and, he is. And, Agreed. And, Absolutely. And, and really quite remarkably so. But and there, the is, something, the there, there is something to being overripe. Isn't there for a job? Well, there are, <laughs> I mean, that's even what they Hillary... said about Churchill in 1940. A very old guy, a total drunk, had, had, his, his career was over. But he, he, won, he won the biggest conflict. You never know with, 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 with people of his, right. uh, uh, of his caliber, I think. And, and I, think, I think if he's against Obama, it'll just be a generational narrative. There's no way it can't be. <laughs> but um, I think but Obama is different. taking the right position and being very respectful to McCain and not, not, not sniping at him in any, in any okay. way. Okay. Yeah. Great panel, great audience. Thank you very much. You've got to check out. <laughs>